Good evening, fellow punters. Mickey D back with you. The clock on the wall says 6.47 on a bitterly cold Wednesday evening. Feels like a man should be putting on the kettle and taking out the bottle of Jemison and the cloves and the lemon, I think, this evening. Uh, do nothing else. Might do that after a while. Um, it'll drive you to drink watching the way we're getting uh, sort of messed around with jockeys in the last couple of days. I uh, thought today was another day that you could put it down to experience for... Uh, I thought the girlie that rode the first heart, I don't know what she was looking to her left for a lot of the time. If she wasn't happy where she was, she should have changed her position. And she didn't make an attempt to ride the heart until it was too late, until the three or four of them had to head up the stretch. I can't understand that at all. But And then uh, Seamus Heffernan uh, on the rail, and you imagine he knew that the cutaway would be coming. What did he do? He went straight across in where they'd be bother. And the winner flew up the rail. He was at 11 to 4 yesterday evening. When you're on at 11 to 4 and a horse goes off evens, you could have cashed out for 6 to 4 and make money. But uh, and McConnell did have a uh, 3 today, wasn't it? Um, but anyway, what can we do? Pick the right horse, but we don't win. Um, there's two for tomorrow. Uh, two bus horses. First one in the 7.30 at Chelmsford Mountain Road. It won for us the last time. Um, in Chelmsford, a mile six. Second, Myriad is now just being shaken along in third. Mountain Road still goes okay. We'll need some gaps on the inside in the hands of Callum Shepherd with Artistic Choice. Is still deeper out and trapped by C. Gray. Spit Spot has still got five or six lengths to make up as Pons Elias now ranges up to have a crack at Dubai Leader as they swing on in. Inside the final quarter of a mile, Myriad away to the left, away to the right. Mountain Road is now launching his challenge. They're being followed by Spit Spot, who's also weaving her way from the back of the field. Four or five in a line as they go inside the furlong. Mountain Road up the inside. Spit spot is still closing from the back of the field mountain road in front wandering off a true line but clear by length and a half and it is mountain road to win the feature spit spot home in one well enough there big strong horse uh pontelius or pont alias was in that race that was the reason that i picked him that next time in kempton and he couldn't even finish in the first three he was fourth and then he went out and he won the next race, which is a bigger handicap race. Uh, Spit Spot is in the race again. And it's Chris Wall's last horse in training. He's retiring after tomorrow night. And if the meeting doesn't go ahead tomorrow, he has his last runner uh, saddled. So unless on all known form there, I know she was finishing fast or... Um, and Haley Turner is on it again. But uh, Mountain Road, you'd imagine. But there's another another problem probably as well. When you see that uh, Jamie Spencer is riding it for Simcock. And he's not the luckiest of jockeys for us down through the years. So I'm hoping he might be able to change that tomorrow night at, at, uh, at half seven. Uh, uh, he has, he was given uh, two pound to Pantelius the last night, and he's only given a pound tonight. Uh, he's given a lot of weight to Spit Spot, all right, but uh, he should be up to. You'd imagine uh, he's a big, strong horse, and the other one is a a bus horse from from a while back. Blind beggar. A lot of you that's with me a while on the bus will know that we backed him. We were unlucky a few times and. Uh, his best runs are at six furlongs. Um, he was second or third to Moss Tucker in June. That was a very good run. He went off five to four favorite that time, but we were on Moss Tucker that day. Uh, and then uh, he was second the last time to Earls, and to, he was finishing very fast. Now he has changed yards. I think he went forty thousand. Um. 
Here's his last run. Strikes the front, followed by Rough Diamond coming to challenge, and then Spanish tenor Dadder Wren chopped out of room for Hoy, and then Blind Beggar up the hill they come. And it's that as the leader, Blind Beggar's coming on the outside of Rough Diamond as they race up towards the finish. It's Eddles on the far side of Blind Beggar, Eddles on the inside of Blind Beggar, Rough Diamond's two more strides, and he would have nabbed us maybe that evening. But um, it's his first run for Appleby. Now, Appleby used to be very, very good on the old uh, Southern sur- surface. And he's not getting as many winners uh, in, in Southern. I think he's only about 9% when he was maybe 14 or 15% lately. In the last 14 days, he has 2 out of 40. That's only 5%, but he has 14 places. So the air isn't totally out of for him. Um, so hopefully... Uh, that was a five to two shot earlier. Yeah, it's five to two. It opened uh, ninety four fifteen days with the green bookie. So hopefully them two. Uh, total commitment is weighted to uh, to win, uh, but it doesn't win that often. Uh, so that's probably the the one that I'd be most afraid of uh, to second the last time in Lingfield, uh, but it's off the low eighties now. But uh. It won off, uh, as you can see, 88 and won off 91. But the last one won was in February of 2021. So it's run a lot of time since. Uh, so hopefully we'll have the toe. We'll be fit enough for Appleby t- tomorrow evening. I think it was a horse I was saying, if it, when, it, when I seen it was sold to England, that, uh, that I could win a few, you know, off 81. I think it's about this. only a four-year-old yet. So hopefully... Uh, them too might do the business for tomorrow for us. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow night. Uh, I said from the old friend, the Stig, will probably be back. Uh, he uh, he probably will have something to say about uh, upcoming races and long term probably as well. So uh, I don't know if fast last going ahead tomorrow or not, but the danger is with, with the weather, if the meeting goes ahead, the ground will be nearly good ground now and the soft to heavy, heavy uh, forum will go out the window. So it's a dangerous thing. I was looking at it there, but I couldn't see any sort of good ground horses uh, because I don't know what the ground is going to be like. So uh, it's a bit risky. It's all risky this weather anyway. So bash the bookies over and out.